one of the reasons I love having the Bible open um, to do um, to do my evangelism is actually I don't feel the pressure to have to answer tricky questions. So if the question that they're asking isn't coming up in the particular passage that I'm looking at, I always feel at liberty to, to not answer the question. Um, so I'll say to them, you know, that's a really, really good question, um, but actually it's not going to get dealt with by our, by our writer here. Um, that question is going to get dealt with, so I'm going to write it down. And when we get to the point in the gospel, let's, let's, let's bring that out and we'll see how the gospel writer, how Jesus um, answers that question. Um, so, you know, I believe the gospel has been perfectly crafted by the Holy Spirit from, from chapter one to the end. Um, so I'm perfectly comfortable to let the gospel answer the questions in the right place. And you'll be amazed when you do this, how often somebody asks a question in the very next passage or the very next chapter, that question gets answered. Um, so if I know the question's coming up, I will, I will say, great question that's going to get answered here so lots of people ask me about organized religion right up front and i'll say wait until we meet nicodemus in chapter three really religious guy jesus is going to have some amazing things to say to him um if i'm not sure that the question is going to be answered or i don't know where it will be answered i love it i've learned not to fear those tricky questions and i will say to my friend that's a brilliant question i've never thought of that i don't know i'm gonna to have to find out and I love that for three reasons. Um, the first reason is if they want to find out the answer, they're going to have to meet me again. So we're going to get another, we're going to get another meeting. I'm then going to run to my ministry team. I'm going to say, listen, I'm sharing the gospel with somebody and they've asked me this. And that's immediately going to encourage my ministry team because A, I'm sharing the gospel and B, they get to teach me something and they love to teach. And then the third thing is I am going to learn something new about Jesus that I didn't know before. Um, so as I've started to share the gospel in this way with my friends, I found my faith has been increasing and my knowledge has been increasing. Um, and that's why I, I think in John's gospel, when John the Baptist describes his ministry as a gift, this is why it's a gift. Jesus doesn't ask us to do this because it's a burden, but because it will help us. Um, so I would just say, don't sweat it. Um, if you don't know the answer, that's great. If you do, that's great. But just let the gospel work.